Our final guest on the show this week has been a part of Canada's musical landscape for decades. He was in bands such as the Harbour Coats, Constantines, and has worked with stellar musical forces like Obijou and Feist. After a 10-year pause on his public musical output, his latest release, Run With Me, has been called both a summary and rebirth and is a highly anticipated and celebrated event. Here with me today is Bri Webb. Hi, Bri. Hi. How are you? Hi, thanks for having me. I appreciate it, Don. Yeah, thank you for your time and for being here. Well, the reason that I wanted to reach out and chat with you is because I wanted to let you know that your album, Run With Me, is the number one album on CKUA's Top 30 chart this week. Wow, that's amazing. That's so nice to hear. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You are, you're most welcome and congratulations. It's a beautiful, beautiful album. So, Exclaim Magazine calls this album your long-awaited homecoming and i'm wondering if you can share what this return to music means to you now yeah well i so i was very lucky to tour and then make a lot of music uh, with the constantines and then um on my own with a few solo records like in the early 2010s but um then around like 2010 onwards, I started working at CFRU here, uh, the community radio station, which is sort of a lifetime interest of mine. Uh, but I also became a parent, and I, throughout the 20 like 2010 onward, I, I was active making music, but it was just getting to a point where I felt like I was I was trying to do a ton of different things, but I wasn't doing anything as well as I would like, and I felt like I could maybe step back from making music of my own for a bit and, and focus on those other things and trying to figure out a way to use those skills and that experience to help others share their voices uh, in the community here. Music took a back seat for a while. And so then in the last year, I went through some personal changes and just realized that singing was kind of missing from my life, just the act mm. of singing. And so I started doing that again, just on my own, you know, just relearning old songs and, and enjoying singing, which led to starting to write again. And then connecting with friends and saying, you know, do you want to collaborate on this or add something to this song and that became this record uh loads and loads of friends from over you know 25 years of making music contributed um and the support was really overwhelming wow yeah quite a beautiful story in terms of you finding the joy of music again um, for your own self and letting that sort of lead you, but also, you know, taking the time to tend to family and community, which are also very valuable, you know, through that time off and, and focusing other places, how have you changed as an artist? I think maybe I've just gotten a little better at asking for help and, and reaching out. <laughs> like, yeah, the last year has been a bit of a process of trying to be okay with reaching out, you know, realizing that people actually care and, and like to help. And on the flip side of that, I've started to learn to trust my impulses a bit more. I've gone through processes of making records where I just full of doubt and uh, anxiety. And it was like a return to <laughs> the experience of recording on a four track or something when I was you know, a teenager, or it was just fun. like you know, save some time in your day to go in and be creative and not overthink things terribly, but just uh, enjoy the process. And, and that's, that was, that was how this record came together. So I'm starting to just enjoy all those aspects of it anew, you know? I'm so happy for you. Like that's, you know, a beautiful place to arrive at after years of searching and seeking yeah. and trying and, and to just have a place of ease is yeah quite a For gift. Sure. That's wonderful. I would love to play Modern Mind. And I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit about this song. Um, yeah, uh, I guess that song is is about the process of trying to understand oneself in the midst of change and, and maybe chaos. Uh, my partner, Steph, just brought home this book kind of zine uh, called How to, How to Rest the Unrestable. Mm. It's all about trying to figure out not just like thinking of I'm a failure because I'm not restful or I don't have enough energy or I'm not capable of doing everything I want to do, but, but also looking at it on a systemic level, what distorted values are actually keeping us from a, a sustainable and healthy 
life, you know. It's, uh, there's lots of, uh, I guess, angles in that song, but I think that's where it's coming from. Yeah. Wow. That's very cool. Well, your album is beautiful. I mean, the first time I listened to it, I was like, oh, oh, like this, you know, like this unfolding mm -hmm. constant surprises of, of really like beautiful music and sonic moments. So congratulations on a fantastic album and congratulations on having uh, the number one album on CKUA's top 30 chart. This Thank week. you so much. And I appreciate what CKUA does and uh, all community radio outlets. So thank you for that. Yes. Thank you. And, and long live community radio. Indeed. <laughs> all right. From the album Run With Me, which is the number one album on CKOA's top 30 chart, this is Bri Webb and Modern Mind. <laughs> 